is a new day it is a new vlog and i am all dressed up and ready for the gym as you guys can see um it is a friday and honestly i'm taking this day as a monday you know i don't know i just the past couple of days i've really just been i'm sorry for the noise outside you guys already know the drill like i'm literally like i'm going to learn to just block out the outside noise and I feel like that's just a life lesson also as a whole. Just block out the outside noise and just focus on, you know, what you, what you got going on. Don't mind what everybody else has got going on. But anyway, so the past few days, I've literally been such a slug, okay? And I feel like slug is the perfect word to use because all I've been doing is eating, sleeping, and that's about it and then obviously like going out and then going to class i've only been to one class by the way because i literally only have classes two times a week so that's what i've been doing you know and i really haven't been going to the gym as much as i should i'd say as much as i'd like but i'm gonna say as much as i should be going and yeah it's 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 simply just because I've been lazy the past few days, like literally so lazy. I'll tell myself, okay, let's eat now and then let the food digest for like a few hours and then go to the gym. Do I end up going to the gym once my food has digested? No, I make another meal. Like I've been eating like nobody's business and it's starting to like be alarming. One thing about eating too much, it will start showing in your face and then slowly start showing on your body, you know? And honestly, nothing's wrong with that. We all know that I'm on a weight gain journey. I'm perfectly fine with that. What I'm not fine with is going to the gym and controlling my weight or taking the fat to the right places. So yesterday I told myself that is the last day we are going to carry on like this. Tomorrow, which is today, Friday, we're going to wake up early because I haven't been waking up early. I've been sitting around for 5 o'clock the past couple of days, past couple of weeks actually, and I end up waking up at like 10. 11 i'm like we're gonna wake up early today i didn't wake up as early as i wanted to which was five i mean six it was six o'clock uh i ended up waking up at nine which is fine because normally i'll end up waking up at like 11 so it's fine it's it's a good start the fact that i woke up brushed my teeth got ready dressed up for gym and here i am my bottle is here i'm just ready to get going i'm proud of myself for that we're gonna go to the gym eating breakfast yet i feel like the biggest mistake i make also is saying that i will go to the gym after eating breakfast so i'm not going to eat breakfast i'm going to take a simple acting pill now when i go to the gym so that like it can empty up my stomach while i'm gymming and when i come back from the gym i can be ready to eat okay is that my phone did i lock it up in my room i think i did but anyway so that's the tea okay i have been very disappointed in myself the past couple of days and today we're gonna change that it's so difficult to block outside guys it is so hard it's so hard not to block the outside noise like i really wish i could go to those people and just like can you can you wait just for like an hour till i'm done but anyway so yeah we're going to the gym it is a new day it doesn't matter like don't wait for the start of a new week to change a bad habit or to start a new habit you know a new healthy habit don't wait for the first of the month to change your ways to make new goals anytime is tea time darling anytime is tea time it's a friday i could have easily said on sunday or on monday i will start going to the gym and stop eating so much it's a friday and i told myself i'm gonna change today and I feel like it's a freaking Monday. I feel like I can change any day. You can literally change any day. But anyway, I'm not here to be my motivational speaker. We're going to go to the gym. Another thing, I'm going to take my time at the gym. I've realized in the past few vlogs, I kept saying that I want to start living intentionally. And a lot of you have been saying that, like, you know, you see that I'm starting to live intentionally. But I'm not satisfied. I'm not satisfied. I feel like I'm always in a rush. I feel like I always have to get things done in a specific amount of time. I feel like I don't have enough hours in a day and that's because I was waking up late. I'm just going to take my time. When I go to the gym, I rush. Like I end up not even like doing the full set or when I get too tired, I want to go home. If I get too tired, I can rest for 15 minutes, 20 minutes 
and then carry on until I finish like there's no need for me to rush I'm gonna take my time at the gym I'm gonna do what I need to do take the amount of rest that I need make sure I get the whole entire workout that I planned done at the gym do you hear me I'll come back home and do the next thing that I need to do God help me God make the time go slower because I really need to slow down and just do things properly do them fully complete them and just not rush like I'm just always in a rush for what anyway if you're new to my channel hey welcome click the subscribe button and the post notification button which is the little bar honey if you want to know when I post and if you're a tennis subscriber hey girl period okay period I hope by the time this vlog goes up, I'll have a new intro. That's another thing I want to talk to you guys about. Someone said I'm in my grown woman era and that my intro was my intro for that past era that I was in and that we needed a new intro and I couldn't agree more. I'm going to ask if it's not done by now, I'm going to get someone to do an intro. If it's not done by now, by the time this vlog goes up, it means that I couldn't find someone to do my intro. Uh, I'm gonna go to that girl that you usually did like does my intros bitch. I'll edit. I'm gonna see if she's still around um, If the new intro is up, I hope you guys like it. If it's not, I'm working on it. Okay um, Comment down below anybody, you know who does edits whether I've done it or not Maybe can help someone else or another youtuber who wants to change their intro or outro I need to look for a song. That's the hardest part looking for a song for your intro and outro But that's okay. We will find one but yeah, I just feel like my city girl era, I don't know. Have you guys realized that like I'm slowly but surely just like creeping out of it? Like, I don't know. I'm just so over the whole city girl era. Like I'll always be a bad, okay, always and forever. But just like, is it the mannerisms? I don't know. But just like certain things, I'm just like, okay. But anyway, um... Let me take my supply items and tablets. My bottle is here, everything is ready. I'm gonna meet you guys at the gym, okay? I cannot wait to reward myself with that kawaii smoothie afterwards, cause girl, it's been a minute. Hello, are you collecting coins on the app today? Hi, how are you? Good, thanks, and how are you? I'm good, thank you. Um, do you guys have any salads, like the chicken salad? Um, let me ask, because we do have a chicken salad, we are selling it, but they were not equipped yet to make it the last time I checked. Okay, can you ask for me, please? Thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry, man. Uh, they don't. They still don't have the uh, the ingredients to do the salad, so we cannot make it. Free. Okay, no, it's fine then. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hi. Do you have anything like this? Like this. Like this. Getting you guys a new tripod. I'm honestly so tired of this broken one. Hi. Hi. This tripod over there, how much is it? Three fifty. Not that man selling me this exact same tripod for three fifty. When I bought this one for two hundred in town. 
that is ridiculous. I feel like the next time I go to town, I should buy a tripod because also who vlogs this side of town, like this side of Cape Town? Nobody vlogs. So how many people are gonna come buy that tripod of yours for 350? Come on now, be for real. The lighting in here is just so horrible, but I am um, actually have food at home. But like I told you guys, I want to start eating healthier. I just want to stop like overeating. So I'm just buying like healthier, like groceries. Um, yeah, that's why I'm here. I actually wanted to go to Woolworths, but I ended up walking further down to look for a shop that sells tripods which i did find but you guys heard that guy 350 when i actually bought this tripod for 200 but anyway i'm gonna stop going on about that so yeah i'll just buy a tripod and i'm in town but that's besides the point while i was down here i saw pick and pay right next to the tripod store and i was just like you know let me just stop in here might as well just do my grocery shopping in here i just want to pay and go that's literally what i want to do let me get this one with broccoli and cauliflower because i haven't had me some broccoli in a while and i can probably melt it with some cheese let's get this i probably don't even know how to cook it i'm gonna have to read on the packet because yeah i'll probably just put it in the air fryer i like the air fryer because all i have to do is just season and shove it right in ain't gotta do too much you guys are flashing what's new what is new flashy flashy battery long hey guys it is a whole brand new day and i just want to show you guys what all family got me how cute is this so basically like passing my brand management course and i think it's so freaking cute i haven't unboxed it yet i got it this morning like a few hours ago and i don't open it because i'm like i want to open it with you guys so let's unbox this cute 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 my sweet jar is empty do you hear me it is empty you guys know me i've got a sweet tooth i literally run through my sweets like it's nothing okay this is so freaking cute i'm a star guess that guess that when it doesn't say guess that it says like a star a star I think that's what it says, but anyway. Enekista! What does it say? Enekista? How um shebil? I don't know. Anyway, it's the Guys, when they talk about being spoiled, one thing about me and sweets, guys, my heart is so freaking full. Kuriki choice unsorted. I'm literally like. My heart is so freaking full. I cannot believe it. Oh my gosh. All these sweets for me. And there's a little note, of course. I hope I don't cry. One thing about me, like any little or big thing my family does for me, I'm literally bawling in tears. Like, literally. It can even not be about me, it cannot be for me, it can be about like my mom or my sister or my dad or my brother. I just cry. Whenever they achieve something, I cry. Like, I'm just such a cry baby. But anyway, oh, see, I want to cry. We're so proud of you. Too many more wins. Love from your family. <laughs> Guys, honestly, like, it's things like this that keep me going and motivate me because, I don't know, I feel like I want nothing but to make my family proud, you know? And I think last year for me, when I was repeating my subject, my QS, quantity surveying, and every single time, like, my family would motivate me, 
to let me know that they're praying for me and that I've got this and everything. And I feel like just to fail when people have like you know supported you through and through it was like a big letdown and i just pray and i hope that this year can really just be the year where i pass this freaking subject and i make my family proud like i just feel like me passing the subject is gonna make everyone so happy like including myself obviously it's gonna definitely make me proud but all in all i really just want to make my family proud you know anyway i hope it happens god knows my heart he hears my prayers he hears my family's prayers he sees me doing things differently this year he sees me putting in the work i just pray and hope that this is the year you know anyway i've got chocolates the wind the um, weather is so gloomy outside so i'm definitely my dad was like don't finish them all in one day my sister said the same thing i'm really gonna try the weather outside is very gloomy you guys know that cape town has been very gloomy lately the weather has been bad the wind the storms the rain just the whole lot so um i'm definitely gonna put on something on netflix grab my sweets and just enjoy my day you know um yeah okay i got a few packages okay my mother today i swear it was just christmas for me okay my family just flooded me with gifts i do want to do a tiktok unboxing the microwave i don't know i'll think about it but i do want to show you guys my sweet job we're gonna just like pack it in oh there's another thing i want to show you guys <sighs> okay so you guys know i was doing a brand management short course because i thought i was going to be doing public relations studying public relations but um i decided to give quantity surveying one last try not one last try i mean i'm gonna keep trying until i pass but i just like i'm left with one more subject so i did the short course to prepare me for the new um for the new course which was public relations I passed with I think 75% um, I really enjoyed this course I'm not even gonna lie to you guys I am open to doing other more courses or other new courses because I really really enjoyed this course so much I don't know I feel like my end goal for me would probably be to work as a quantity surveyor one day if not to I don't know like mix my two like talents and my two qualifications together you know like be part of like the brand marketing of a brand or my own brand or like a quantity surveying company do you get what I'm saying like just mix it all together one day I haven't figured it out 100% yet but that's kind of like the path I'm going on but anyway so when you open it so this is how it comes in i love it because it looks like a whole entire graduation thing going on and then when you open it says congratulations on behalf of all of us at the university of cape town and get smarter it has paid off bloody 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 blah blah say blah say blah say you guys already know the, the gist of it all but this is the letter I was basically reading. The certificate, darling. I need to add this to my LinkedIn profile. One thing about LinkedIn, I don't know the ins and outs of it. I've been wanting to ask my sister to like help me with it. Like how to add stuff, how to go about it and stuff like that. Because I once told you guys that I don't want a 95. I don't want to do a 95. I'm not the type of person to have a 95. And that's why I feel like I started all my businesses. Because I really thought that I would be doing the most right now with those businesses and that they would be like you know kind of like setting me to the right path of not having a 95 and just being a full-time entrepreneur successful entrepreneur but i guess certain things like it just it life happened the way it was supposed to happen yes it's not like how i wanted it to happen but it's how it's supposed to happen um and i'm just at a stage in my life right now where i don't know if maybe i'm growing up but i still don't want to 95 but at the end of the day if i'm getting paid then that's great like i just want to have 
multiple streams of income like if there's any way i can get paid i will do it you know so yeah i don't know that's why i'm at right now i don't know if my mind will change or what but yeah so i started a linkedin profile and i'm not 100 percent happy with it like i just started it and i'm not serious about it obviously because i'm not like intentionally looking for a job i'm just starting it up to like try and see and test the waters but anyway here is my certificate yes 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 so do you guys see how empty my candy jar is let's fill it up I don't think I'm gonna close it because of the the longer bars. Oh my gosh, this is like heaven for me. Do you guys understand that? This is like heaven. And not everything is gonna fit, so we love it. I love the fact that not everything is gonna fit. And then yeah. I'm gonna finish these this week. How much do you guys wanna bet? It's not even a competition. I'm not trying to finish them in one week. I want my sweets and my groceries to last me as long as possible, to last me a month like everybody else. But I just eat, guys, I got a big bag, okay? You guys know that big bag thing that's been going on on TikTok? My big bag ass will literally finish this without wanting to finish it all, you know? I just can't like I'm just always eating um I need to remove you guys from the tripod so I can put TikTok on the tripod so we can get to unboxing all of this see my kitchen is looking so good right now my hubbly however does not have space there's literally no space for hubbly in this kitchen already i thought this microwave like when i was unboxing it i'm like this is so big is it gonna fit in my kitchen but it fit perfectly guys the only thing i need is a dishwasher or a washing machine but i think it would be smarter for me to get a washing machine and then my pots they look so freaking cute so cute so cute so cute loving them loving 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 one thing about my mom she will put me on okay